Hi, this is Bill Raymond. This is my new Jekyll based website. You can see I have the latest post for one of my podcasts, the latest post for a blog. And if I click on blog, I can see the latest post here, along with another post that I have, along with the same thing with podcasts, where I can see all the list of podcasts with a featured post. Believe it or not, all of that code is one code base. It's one blog feed, podcast feed to rule them all. And I'm going to show you how to set that up in this multi-part video series. Let's get started. This is part three of my Jekyll featured images series. Go ahead and check out videos one and two if you want to recreate this entire uh, solution from scratch, or you can download the repo from GitHub, and that's down in the descriptions. So as you'll recall, we created a number of posts, and e in each one of those posts, we added an image element, and that displays a featured image on the post. So if I type bundle exec Jekyll serve, dash dash live reload, I can go ahead and open up the site to take a look at it. And as you can see, here's post one, two, three, four, and the original welcome to Jekyll um, post that Jekyll creates. And if you click on it, you can see there is that featured image. It's not something that comes out of the box with Jekyll. Now, these are just blog posts. I want not only a list of blog posts, I want a list of podcast posts. And I want to have the featured image at the top and not show the latest one in the list because the latest one will be the featured post. So, and also I don't want this to be multiple pieces of code. I want one unified code base. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a brand new branch from master and I'm gonna, or whatever your default branch is. And so I'll just go ahead and create a new branch and I'm gonna call this unified. All right, if I can spell unified dash feed there. And this is where we're going to make all the changes to the site so that we can have that unified code base for the podcast and the post. We're just going to make a quick change here where it says categories where it's and says Jekyll update in each one of these posts. I'm going to change this from Jekyll update to just blog. And I'm doing that because it's going to be easier later when we write our code. So rather than have this whole uh, set of code here, we're just going to type blog and I'll do that for each one of these files. Great. So now we have a list of blog posts. Now we need to create a list of podcast posts. So I'm going to go ahead and just take this one and copy and paste it. And I will rename it to 09, 08, podcast, post one. And then I'll just, instead of calling it a blog um, in the categories, I'm just going to call it a podcast and change the date as well and save that. Okay, now I'm also going to change the title from post one to podcast post one. There. So now we have the essentially a new podcast post. As a matter of fact, in the text, I'll even say this is a podcast post, just so that when we go into it, we can see this is a podcast post here. All right, that's good. We basically have a podcast. And now what I want to do is go to unsplash.com or my favorite, whatever your favorite uh, image site is. I'll search for the word podcast. And what I'm going to do is download three images from here and put them into my assets folder. It's going to go into assets under images, and I'm just going to create three podcast images. So I'll just click on one, download the medium, and call that podcast image one, podcast dash image dash one. And I'll do that two more times. 
Okay, so I've downloaded three images. You can see them here, one, two, and three. So for our new podcast image, we'll just change this from assets images image one to podcast image one and save that. Just make sure it works. There we go. We've got the microphone there. And I'll go ahead and copy this two more times. So we're going to have a podcast post one, podcast post two, podcast post three, each getting closer to today's date. There, now we have podcast pose one, two, and three, and you can see them over here. They may not look the best in terms of how the image is laid out, but at least we have it set up and we can move on to the next step. Now we're going to create two different pages, one for the blog and one for the podcast. So I'm gonna put those into different files, but also in a different folder. So I'll create a folder called feed because, and I'm using the word feed primarily because it's a feed of posts. It's a feed of blog posts, it's a feed of podcast posts. And then inside of that feed folder, I'm going to create a page called blog.markdown. And in there, I'll do the YAML front matter, which is three dashes at the top and followed by another three dashes. And in there, we can put the uh, information that we need. As you'll recall, Anytime you create a page in Jekyll, for example, here's this about.markdown file, and I'll click on it over here on the right. You can see it has some content in it, and this is, it starts with this, page, this site was created by, and now you can see this site was created by. Okay, so that's the content, but how does, it, how does Jekyll know to put the word about here? Well, certainly there's a title of about, but where, how exactly does it know to make it an H1 tag? How does it even know to put the heading for the site here and the footer down here? Well, if we take a look at the layout called page in the layouts folder, you'll see there is that H1 class where it's actually putting the page dot title right there. Okay, so, and that in, in is using the layout called default. And the default says, yeah, always put this menu and title at the top of the site at the top and put this footer information down at the bottom. So we're going to use this same structure for our blog feed. So here I'm going to just say layout colon page. And then I'm going to type title colon blog. And then permalink is slash feed slash blog. And I'm just going to go, go ahead and give this a test and say, this is a block. And I'll save that. Now, by default, the Jekyll theme will automatically add that menu item. So you can see that over here on the right. And if I click on it, you can see there is the title of blog and then the text, this is a blog. So we're in good shape here. Now, there's one other thing that I want to do, and this is just call this something like feed type. And I'm going to say that this is blog lowercase b. And I'm doing that because later, when I go through the posts, I want to make sure that that matches the same name of this categories thing here. So anyway, we'll get to that. So we just want to make sure that feed type is lowercase blog. Now I'll just go ahead and collapse these things. And now what we're going to do one more, and we're going to create another feed item here. I'm going to copy and paste. And this one I'm going to call podcast.markdown. And we're going to use the layout of page, the title of podcast, the feed type of podcast. Oop, do that right. The feed type is podcast with a lower P and the permalink is slash feed slash podcast. And again, with the text, we'll say this is a podcast. There, so right now we're on the blog page. That still looks great. We now have a podcast link. And when I click on that, it says, this is a podcast. So cool, we are in good shape. We now have a blog and a podcast link. I'm going to remove this content of this is a podcast and save it. And I'm also gonna remove this is a blog and save that. And so now that we should just have blog and podcast here on our pages.
Now let's edit our layout file, and that's that page.html. I'll go ahead and collapse this left-hand side for a bit. And right underneath this div tag and above article, I'm going to create myself a little space. And I'm going to say assign feed type equal page.feed type. And just to uh, verify that this works, I can just say the, and I'll just actually just do these two <laughs> opening squiggly brackets and type feed type. And since this goes into any page, you can see there's the blog. Okay. And if I come over here to podcast, you can see it's saying podcast. If I come to about, it's not saying anything because we didn't add a feed type to about. So that's cool. So we're now just uh, going to work with that. So let's say if feed type equals blog or feed type equals podcast, then do this thing. And right now we're not going to do anything more than just say the type is feed type which is exactly kind of what we did before. And now we can see the type is blog. If I come over here to the podcast, then the type is podcast. So this is just kind of setting us up for success later, because what we're going to do is include our common code. Remember, the whole point of this is to have a feed for the blog and a feed for the podcast using a common set of code. And so we've just kind of set ourselves up for that. I'm going to go back into files now and I'm going to go to the includes section. And this is where I'm going to include a file that will display our feed. So I'll go ahead and create a new file here and call that feed.html. For now, what we're going to do, and this, this file is going to grow exponentially as we add more features, but for now, we're going to just type section feed to create a new section to display our feed. And I'll just go ahead and save that right now. And we now have the feed.html file. This is going to be our reusable code. And so what I need to do first is come back to the page.html file. And remember, we left this blank. What we're going to do is type include and I'm just going to include the feed.html file and save that. Now, it's interesting. Uh, there is no quotes around this or anything like that. So just make sure you don't use single quotes or include kind of gets recognized as something else. The other thing to note is that even though the feed.html is not in the same layouts folder, Jekyll knows that since you're using the word include, that it should go to the underscore includes folder and get that feed.html file. Okay, so remember, we created a variable here called feed type. So when Jekyll builds our site and includes that feed.html file, it can make use of this variable. So we're going to go ahead and use that now. So what I'll do is type assign feed post. Oh, actually, I'll just go ahead and collapse this so we can see this. Feed posts equal site.posts. So what I'm going to do is say this feed post is the list of posts to display on the blog page. And now what we're saying is get all this, all the posts on the site. However, what we want to do is a where clause. So I'll type a pipe. And now that pipe is shift backslash. It's usually above the return or enter key on your keyboard. And it's this, it's a straight line. So we'll just go ahead and type where colon categories in single quotes equal feed type. Now I'll just go ahead and save that. Nothing will happen. What did I just do here? I said, make this feed post the list of all the posts to display on the page. 
but put a where clause in to say only get the posts that have a categories of the feed type. And remember the feed type over here is either going to be blog or podcast. Okay. And we know what those are because if we come down to our files and we come down here to posts and we look at our posts, there is the category of blog for this one and a category of podcast for this one. So you have to kind of wrap your head around the fact that you're working with multiple files here. Think of them as individual objects. We've got a page that just displays this blog. There's another page that kind of get wraps that into the entire website look. And then we've got a area where we're building right now that's going to display the list of, of um, podcasts. And so the page file will be the blog area where the feed.html is another little object we're putting onto the page that's going to list out all the blog posts. So, all right, talked enough, let's continue. I'll just go ahead, bring this back down again, and we'll say for post in feed posts. And now what we're going to do is just create a paragraph tag here. Oops. As you know, I always have problems entering paragraph tags. And I'll say title is post.title. So what should happen now when I save is that this section called feed will get included in the page because we had the include and the feed is going to display the title. And it's only going to display the title of just the blog items. So let's save and see what happens. There we have welcome to Jekyll post one, two, three, four. Okay. And if I come to the podcast area, notice it's just saying the title are the titles for our podcasts. Now, if I go to the home page, nothing changes here. Okay. This is just how Jekyll decides to display it with the minima theme. So we are creating our own special sort of unique code base that just displays for our blog and our podcast. Now that's the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to make this look a lot better. We're going to have a featured post at the top of each one of these, and we're going to limit the number of posts that get displayed on the page so we don't see the featured post twice. And we're going to add those featured images and we're going to use something called CSS grids to lay all of this out. So right now it's not going to look too pretty on this video, but in the next one, it's really going to look nice. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more like this, please like, comment, and click the bell to support my channel.